I'm here in Bandelier National Monument. This area was formed geologically several million years ago when volcanoes erupted and covered the area in what's called tuff, a certain type of ash. Later, ancestral Pueblin people moved in. Today, you can still see their cave dwellings and cliff dwellings, which is what I'm gonna go hike into. Bandelier National Monument is located in northern New Mexico. There are two visitor centers in Bandelier, one in White Rock, where you can park and take a shuttle into Frijole Canyon. The shuttle is required after 9 a.m. most days due to limited parking in the canyon. The other visitor center is in Frijole Canyon itself. Bandelier National Monument is known for its cliff dwellings and cave dwellings and other ancestral Puebloan ruins. It is a fascinating walk along the 1.5 mile Pueblo Trail. Most of the Pueblo Trail is paved, passing kivas and the ruins of old structures. There is a bit of elevation in the trail for those with the mobility to make the ascent and take stairs. The trail takes you to cliff dwellings, including some that you are permitted to climb up into. Parts of the trail are narrow stone steps carved by the Civilian Conservation Corps with handrails to help you. You'll also pass the Longhouse, a series of old homes that stood three to four stories tall at one point. Within the Longhouse, you can spot petroglyphs and rock paintings from past residents. From the Pueblo Trail, you can also add on a one mile out and back hike to the Alcove House. This trail is not as paved, though it is pretty flat. When you reach the end, you have to do a 140 foot vertical climb up four ladders. It's not for the faint of heart. The Alcove Trail is forested in parts, which is a nice reprieve from the sun. Climbing the ladders and walking the narrow carved paths is worth it for the view from the Alcove House. A reconstructed structure shows how this area might have been used in the past, though archaeologists aren't totally sure why it was used. The alcove house climb is awesome. If you're afraid of heights, it might not be for you. I am not afraid of heights, but it turns out I might be a little bit afraid of ladders. I was still able to do it, but I would just make sure you can do the first ladder before you go all the way to the top. There are other trails in Frijol Lake Canyon, too. Falls Trail is another great hike. It's a little bit more challenging, but definitely not hard. It takes you to a series of waterfalls. However, during the late summer and autumn, like when I'm visiting, it may be dry just because there hasn't been much rain lately. Fall Trails works down Frijole Canyon, crossing the creek if there's water a few times and passing through trees as you make your way toward the Rio Grande. The trail ends at the Falls Viewpoint. Beyond that, the National Park Service has closed the trail for land preservation. Fall Trails is actually a little bit shorter than estimated. It's said to be three miles round trip, but it's probably more like two and a half due to a trail closure. And during the dry season, it just looks like some pretty rocks, but it is beautiful and way less popular than the Pueblo Trail, which makes it a great option if you want to escape the crowds. Once you arrive back at the visitor center, you can enjoy lunch at the cafe. Be sure to try the fry bread burger. For another hike after lunch, head to the Sankawi unit, which is separate from Frijole Canyon near White Rock. It's a 1.5 mile loop trail. This trail is ridiculously cool. You hike and climb up on top of the mesa. And while I haven't seen any of the archeology span yet, it's well worth it just for the view. The mesa gives you a view of the surrounding landscape and you can spot ruins along the trail. There are also ladders to climb and descend as well as small cavelets to explore. The path is carved deep into the rock, and you should keep your eyes open for petroglyphs carved on the rock walls. One amazing aspect of Bandelier is how you can climb right into the places where ancient peoples once lived and see the world as they did. Have any questions about visiting Bandelier National Monument? I've put links and more information in the video description to help you plan your trip. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, which you can do on the screen right now. Want more New Mexico content? Check out the next suggested video, which you can also find on the screen. Thanks so much for watching.